If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? ClickWood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 17 video. And guys, today, the position that we're taking a look at is the top five defensive tackles to start the season in Madden 17. Now, just as a caveat, as we've been doing throughout this whole series, I just want to point out, these are not their Mutt card ratings. These are the attributes that you're going to see if you're playing a standard play now game or if you go into franchise mode, things like that, just to start the season. So these attributes could go up as time goes on. They could go down, you know, depending on how the players perform throughout the year. But these are their base attributes to start the season. So with that being said, guys, let's go in here. We're going to take a look at, again, the top five defensive tackles. And guys, number one is a doozy. So be sure to stick around for that one. But we're going to start off at number five. And at number five, we have Kawhi. Short of the Carolina Panthers, the defending NFC champion Carolina Panthers. Beastly, beastly player. Now, keep in mind, guys, he is going to be a side star Latulule, who is also very good. If they were doing a top 10, I bet both of those guys would be in the top 10. And, guys, Kawan Short is pretty damn good. I mean, he's got 95 for a power move, 93 for a block shed. Those are kind of the things that you typically want to look for at a defensive tackle. Now, the one thing that I'm a little bit disappointed with with Kawan Short is that he does only have an 87 for strength. Now, 87 isn't horrendous, but if you consider that he's going to be going up against centers and guards, typically, it's not great for a top five defensive tackle. It's not kind of what you would hope for. So that is a little bit discouraging. 70 speed is also very slow. Um, you know, it's not going to be just like, he's not just going to be molasses out there, but I believe he's the slowest of the guys in the top five. So that's a little bit disappointing as well. He does have decent acceleration though at an 85. So he's going to get up to that top speed. A 70 fairly quickly, but even still, uh, it's a little bit disappointing on that end of things. But again, good power move, good block shedding, so that should be good enough to make him at least a good, solid defensive tackle to start the season. And again, when you combine him with the fact that he's going to have Star Latulule next to him, it's going to be tough to run on the Carolina Panthers up the middle. So let's move on now to number four, and we have a guy who has been good over the past few seasons. Now, I think it might be a little bit overrated here at a 93 overall, but again, in Domicon Sue, I don't think there's any denying that he's a beast of a player. Now, he is actually really, really similar to Kawan Short in a lot of these areas. The difference is that he has the strength, where Kawan Short only had an 87 strength, and Domicon Sue checks in at a 98 strength. So he has what I consider to be the most important attributes in the game, strength, power move, and block shedding for a defensive tackle. He's kind of stacked in all three of those, to be honest with you. So definitely a good player to start your team with if you're a Miami Dolphins fan. Now, 73 speed, again, we talked about with uh, Kawan Short being a 70 speed. That's pretty low attribute. Now, granted, again, these guys are defensive tackles, so they're not typically going to be chasing guys down around the edge or, you know, chasing them down the field. But Indomitian Sue is a guy who I've seen before make tackles down the field. So I think it's a little bit disappointing that he's only a 73 speed with an 83 acceleration. So, uh, again, not great in that department, but definitely great in the strength, power move, and block shedding areas. And, again, those are the three most important attributes, in my opinion, for a defensive tackle. So let's move on now to number three, and at number three, we have Fletcher Cox of the Philadelphia Eagles. Kind of a more balanced defensive tackle, I would say, because he does have the speed. He has 79 speed with 86 acceleration, so very, very quick off the ball, and again, kind of low on the strength scale. And 86, that's actually the lowest of any of the guys in the top five, so that's pretty discouraging. Uh, but again, he does have some great attributes in other areas. If you take a look at that power move, 97 for a power move. Guys, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that, <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, that's a nasty attribute. You combine that with the fact that he's going to have good speed and good acceleration, and you're talking about a guy who is going to be a good pass rusher as a defensive tackle. So he does lack a little bit in the strength department. His block shedding is okay at a 90. Again, I say that as somebody who's coming from Mutt, so I'm used to seeing these top players kind of have like 98 acceleration, 98 block shed, things like that, but when you consider that this is standard Madden, 
These attributes are very good across the board. Again, the strength's a little bit low, but other than that, he is a very, very good player, and I think he's going to be, again, one of the better pass rushers at the defensive tackle position to start the season. So let's move on now to number two, and this is a guy who has been very, very good for quite some time. This is Geno Atkins, and again, guys, he is a 94 overall, so he is the second best defensive tackle. He is a full attribute better than both Fletcher Cox and Ndamukong Su, and two better than Kawan Short, and if you take a look at the attributes again, very, very nice, kind of across the board, 98 for a power move, 93 for a block shed, so he's a little bit better than Fletcher Cox in both of those departments. A little bit slower than F Fletcher Cox with only a 77 speed as opposed to the 79, and his acceleration is also four lower. But again, he makes up for it with a little bit higher power move, a little bit higher block shed, and he's also three higher in strength at an 89. Again, 89, not an amazing attribute. But still good enough, I think, for the most part. Uh, again, not the best player in the game because we're going to be taking a look at a guy at number one who might be the best overall player that we've seen so far uh, as far as just attributes in the departments that you would look for at his position. So we're going to take a look now at the number one defensive tackle. And again, guys, I think he might be the best player that we've seen so far as far as rating reveals. And that is Aaron Donald. Take a look at these attributes, ladies and gentlemen. 83 speed for a defensive tackle. 90 acceleration. He's the best among these guys in both of those areas, both speed and acceleration. He also has 94 strength, which is the best besides Ndamukong Su of all of these defensive tackles. So second best at the position from the players that we've seen. 98 power move, again, the best that we've seen, tied with uh, Geno Atkins in that area, but oh my freaking goodness, dude, that is crazy, and you add in the fact that he also has a 98 block shed, and oh my goodness, this card is stacked in everything that you would be looking for, and I just called him card, again, it's not a card, it's his player, but uh, you get the point, this is the only defensive tackle in the game to start the season that has a 90 or above in acceleration, so he is going to be the quickest defensive tackle in Madden to start the year, and you combine that with the fact that he has crazy strength, ridiculous power move, and ridiculous block shedding, and you probably have, in my opinion, the best player. Now, the only thing is that defensive tackles historically in Madden haven't been as important as other positions, but I'm telling you, if you are a guy who believes that they're you know, making major improvements for the offensive and defensive lines this year, I mean, I don't know. We haven't seen really a whole lot of proof of that. We've heard from some people that that's the case. We don't necessarily know for sure, but if it is the case, Aaron Donald might be the best player in this game. <laughs> Seriously, that he is that damn good. So very excited to see what we can do with Aaron Donald and the other defensive tackles here on this list. I want to hear from you guys, though. Are you excited about these, these players? I mean, is there somebody that was snubbed off of the top five that should be in the top five? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you are going to say that somebody was left off, you also have to let me know in the same comment who should not be in the top five that is currently in the top five. Somebody's got to get bumped out if you're putting your guy up there. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you think? And also let me know, what do you think about this Aaron Donald specifically? Is this the best player that we've seen so far in this game? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.